Good afternoon. Just to wrap up of the council work session and the council meeting for the City of Grand Rapids for Monday, June 27th. At the work session, we had the first assistant fire chief, Brian Zulke, in to talk a little bit about pay and pay structure, uh, not only for incoming apprentices or um, introductory firefighters, but intermediate firefighters, and then how we compensate our leadership staff in the fire department from the standpoint of a lot of cities have full-time fire chiefs and, and some other positions that's quite expensive in Grand Rapids we do not have that but over the past 12 years we have not looked at the pay structure there so uh, we approved what was proposed on the current monthly salary uh, to the proposed monthly salary that will be effective starting 1-1 of 2017 the intermediate uh, introductory one and the intermediate firefighters will take effect uh, immediately. So that was a good uh, opportunity to take a look at that and to put that in place. At the regular council meeting under the uh, uh, consent agenda, a few things that I just wanted to touch on was we moved to uh, go into an arts and culture commission to pursue a river, riverfront venue feasibility study. Uh, as you recall, we've talked about in the past about the development of a pedestrian bridge. Uh, we're looking uh, certainly at a motel hotel across from the library, but we're continuing to look at how do we develop that riverfront and utilize the asset of the Mississippi River going through there. So uh, we're moving forward with that. Uh, we authorized uh, a letter of understanding with Bland and Paper Company. I want to make sure that I read this. It's for engineering services uh, for the demolition of structures at the former Public Works showboat site and authorize the advertisement for bids. This is the work that's been going on for well over a year, which is the land exchange between the City of Grand Rapids and UPM Blandin in preparation and or in hopes that at some point in time UPM would uh, decide to create another business out in that area. Uh, certainly if that happens, we want to have everything in position so that uh, when UPM decides that they are looking at expanding in Grand Rapids or at some place, everything will be in place. So uh, with this start, uh, we are hoping to have everything in place uh, over the next couple of months. This is the first step with a letter of understanding uh, to move that, that project forward. We also uh, authorized the installation of a new uh, HVAC system out at the um, airport. Uh, it's been on the fritz out there, so we authorized that. And we moved the uh, interim from our police chief. Scott Johnson has agreed to move from an interim chief position to the chief of police for the city of Grand Rapids, and we certainly thank Scott for his willingness to do that. Uh, He's been doing a, a great job in moving our leadership plans that we have in place in the police department uh, with the development and the creation of a different tiering system, uh, the rotation of officers through different positions. Uh, we think that it is enhancing the outreach and the ability from a communication standpoint of how our officers react with the residents uh, of Grand Rapids area and anyone traveling through our community so that uh, from an aspect of how are they perceived we're, we're expecting that we will continue to get great positive feedback on how our police department operates. Under community development we are authorizing and uh, we're moving forward with Swan Machine. We talked about that probably a year ago that Swan Machine was looking at at moving in and they did move into the Grand Rapids area into a facility, a building that was under Greta. And uh, they started with three employees, they're up to five employees now. Uh, we are going to be building a facility, a 13,000 square foot facility out in the industrial park. And the agreement with uh, IRRRB is that 150,000 of the 316,000 would be totally forgiven if over the next three years they move uh, an additional 10 hires, so we think it's positive. Some of the background information that was given to us by Rob Mate, our community development uh, director, was that uh, in Purim, 
in 2004, 12 years ago, they started with four employees and they have over 150. So as I look at what happened in Perm, I don't know that we will be as successful in the Grand Rapids area. I'm certainly hopeful that we can be successful from a growth standpoint, but a lot of that is going to depend on, on how and what services they are going to provide on the machining side up here. But we're certainly thankful for the, the Swansons on Swan Machine for choosing Grand Rapids as a site that they want to build and to do business in uh, going forward. Under administration, we changed our meal reimbursement policy. Uh, we hired Matt Wegworth. Uh, Matt has been doing a lot of work for the city of Grand Rapids, working for SEH, whether it's stormwater or street projects uh, over the past uh, almost a dozen years. Uh, we believe that's going to be a great hire, replacing Julie Kennedy, who went over to uh, Public Utilities. And um, we're excited to have Matt come on board as of August 29th. We also hired Miss Deborah Mobachan to the position of Library uh, Services Clerk 1 uh, at the library. And we paid our bills uh, with that. We will look forward to visiting with you again in two weeks at our wrap-up of our next council meeting. Thanks and have a good evening.